Uh, just from a personal point of view, it's, uh, it's so nice to actually be in this position now where you've actually announced your testing, cards are now on the table. And um, just personally, just very, very excited about um, looking forward to Saturday night where we'll, um, maybe we can answer questions one way or the other. I guess the fact that he comes now with Sir Clive Woodward, um, that he is a World Cup winner, but also because he, you know, he has been shouting from the rooftops that this will be the best prepared Lions team ever in history. If it was in my control, the Lions will be a lot longer. <coughs> a lot more games, a lot more fixtures and probably play another test match but you've got to go with what you've got and you've got to kind of plan accordingly and as I said when I started this trip I've always planned backwards. The last couple of days I've been reading a, a book about previous, um, I forget the guy who wrote it, which covers the, the 93 tour, the 83 tour and it just came across as a, a, a considerable kind of a tour that was quite unhappy and they seemed to run out of players so uh, it was all based on these facts that I set the tour up like, like it's been set up. You know, I, I you know, passionately believe behind the scenes this is one of the uh, uh, happiest Lions trips has been in terms of players getting on, coaches getting on, management getting on, doctors. It's very hard with a guy like Clive Woodward not to just laugh out loud when you see him on television. <laughs> it's really Clive tried to bluff us. You can't bluff New Zealand and rugby. It's in our blood. It's in our bloody beer. But it's been a, it's been a good to be here. You find out about yourself. How oh, badly wrong has Clive Woodward got it, do you think? Well, I think Del Boy got it absolutely right in episode six when he said he's a plunker.